Hello and welcome to Better Geology. I'm Andrew Dunning and you join me in Death Valley National Park at one of the most amazing places in the entire American desert, the racetrack playa where the rocks move across the desert lake bed by themselves. The racetrack playa is a large lake bed in the Cottonwood Mountains in the northwestern section of Death Valley National Park. It's somewhat famous in paranormal pseudoscience websites as being the place where the, the magical rocks get possessed by magnetic vortices and move across the lake bed on their own accord, but the truth is much more perhaps mundane, but also fascinating that these conditions exist in the natural world. This huge lake bed is almost completely flat. It's made of clay and mud, uh, and when it rains it gets very slippery. In the olden days, the Park Service used to say that the official explanation was that the wind would push the rocks across the dampened, muddy playa. But I don't know about you, but I've never seen rocks getting pushed around by the wind. But what does happen just about every winter is that when the snow melts, we're at a pretty high altitude, about 3,500 feet here, you'll get puddles of water down here at the south end of the lake. When the temporary lake exists here on the racetrack playa, uh, it's high altitude enough here that it will often freeze at night. And the wind just rips through the valley, out through that narrow pass there, comes straight up through and pushes this shallow lake bed around the surface of the playa. Now when it gets cold, this lake will freeze, so you will have sheets of ice being pushed around by the wind. Now the ice is very thin, but it has a lot of momentum and a lot of inertia, so once it starts moving, there's nothing in the world that's going to stop it, apart from the lake bed and the wind stopping. So the ice forms both around the rocks and it runs into the rocks while the ice is moving. So the rocks aren't moving on their own accord, they're being pushed around by wind-driven sheets of ice on this remarkably flat, smooth, dry lake bed high up in the desert mountains. Sometimes you will see these tracks left by the rocks carved into the lake bed, extending sometimes for hundreds of yards, changing direction. Whatever the wind was doing at the time the rock was moving is reflected in the trail it leaves behind. The rocks here are mostly sourced from this low hill right here, very close to the uh, southeast end of the lake bed. Uh, and this is called the Lost Burrow Formation. It is a dolomite and limestone. When it rains here, or when flash floods occur, rocks will fall off of this slope, get deposited on the lake bed, and then the wind and the ice will move the rocks out a long distance into the playa. The size of the rocks you'll find out on the lake bed varies quite a bit, from small pebbles to larger boulders like this one. This rock probably weighs several hundred pounds, and yet that wind-driven ice was strong enough to push it across the soft mud and eventually out here into the middle of the lake bed. I'm Andrew Dunning. This is Better Geology. Thank you for watching.